All right, so here's one of the projects that we're highlighting today. And uh, you see how the ceiling has a texture? Basically, I want to recreate that inside this bathroom. So Alex is in here, he's getting, he's getting the ceiling all uh, sanded out on all the walls. So we wanna get that knockdown texture on the ceiling as well. So what we're gonna be using is this air gun. So basically you mix your compound with the, some paint and uh, you kind of want like sour cream consistency, maybe a little bit runnier. You pour that in there. That goes up onto the wall and kind of spits onto the wall like that. And then um, you wait maybe 15 minutes and then you knock it down with this tool right here. So uh, we're gonna do that today and I'll show you the whole process. Uh, but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prime it and then we're gonna go on top of that because we don't wanna see any of that uh, drywall behind uh, our ceiling, okay? So our walls are all primed and sanded and our ceiling is too. Now we're gonna take our taper and uh, we're gonna go around to really protect those walls. Um, Cause we don't, you know, the overspray is gonna go onto them and we don't wanna gook those up and then have to deal with it. So we're gonna take the perimeter, our shower is pretty much taped off. Um, and then we gotta tape off the fan as well. Cause you don't wanna gook that up. And then we're gonna go for it. So our next step is to grab our ceiling paint, just white ceiling paint, Benjamin Moore, really nice. And we're gonna add it to that. And we're really gonna be looking for that like sour cream milkshake kind of consistency. And then once that's done, we're gonna pour that into our hopper and then blow it onto the wall. All right, so we're getting ready to do a texture on the ceiling and here's our hopper. Here's basically how it works. So we just have a hose that runs to our compressor over there. For a small room like that, that compressor size works just fine. That goes to our gun. This valve right here is what releases the air. The air blows, comes out of here and all our compound and paint mix comes into here. And then as I press this, it allows for that material to come into here, hit the air and then blow right out and onto the ceiling. There's a nice little handle here. You just go, just like that. Kind of sounds like that too. All right, so our texture is up. And uh, basically once we spray that on, we're gonna give it like 15 to 20 minutes to kind of dry up a little bit. And, uh, and then we're gonna use our knockdown knife to then kind of smooth it out and really give it that nice knockdown texture. So it's as simple as that. All right, 
so our ceiling texture is done. And you see how it's still kind of glossy looking and kind of like dark looking, and that's because it's still wet. Uh, tomorrow I'll post a video on TikTok of what it actually looks dry. Uh, and plus we're putting a light on it. So if you put the light away, that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, honestly, this is my favorite type of ceiling texture. Uh, it looks really, really cool. Uh, it's got that kind of rich feel to it. Um, this is expensive work, uh, but it's really not that hard to do. Um, so we got that. There's some primer in the back. Remember that, right? So there's primer in the back. There's paint that's mixed into it. And we're gonna paint it one more time tomorrow to really make sure that that's perfect. Um, so one more coat of paint over that. And then we're gonna cut in our walls and get our walls painted as well. So again, this is called knockdown ceiling texture. And uh, that's how you do it. So please subscribe for more videos and let me know what you thought.